I think the board was eager to see him go. And, um, you know, that Brian hadn't set the company up for success long term. That started to uh, manifest itself uh, starting in April. Um, they do have a good bench. There's a lot of smart people there. Um, but I don't believe there's anybody internally that um, is going to give the market confidence that they can get through these longer term issues. I don't understand. Eager to see him go, you mean prior to learning about this uh, violation of company policy, you believe they were eager to see him go? It's possible. I mean, they, you know, they, they have fallen behind uh, TSMC on manufacturing leadership, first time in the company's history. Uh, we had a private meeting with Brian in June where he disclosed very matter-of-factly that they're going to lose market share to AMD, and he couldn't really draw a line in the sand as to where their share would go. These are some serious issues uh, that, that Intel faces. So you, in a sense, believe the board was not unhappy to have acted on this violation of company policy because they were concerned about execution? It's hard for me to believe that they would let the CEO go for a, uh, a relationship he had from over 10 years ago. Really? I yeah. mean, because, you know, the way it had been explained to me is that he, like every other employee, is bound by those same policies that had been in place for over five years, and it was as straightforward as that, and that's the reason, as painful as it was, that they dismissed him. You know, results have been good, but I, I just think this narrative, if you look at the stock since April when they disclosed that they had these 10 nanometer delays that were going to extend out into 2019, the multiple started to compress and that continued through June. Um, you know, their data center business is really the crown jewel of the company. And, um, you know, that business, the, the outlook for that business is, is definitely up in the air. And uh, some of the things that have happened around manufacturing and share loss, I think are significant. It sounds like you're saying the, the episode here was used as an excuse by the board. We'll never really know for sure. Um, but it's just, it's hard for me to believe that you'd get rid of your CEO mm. over something like this. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.